Okay, good morning. What's going on, YouTubers? Happy Wednesday. Um, I just wanted to come on here and talk because I have like a lot of errands to run today that I'm just trying to get over with. But um, I wanted to talk about something because a lot of people they view kindness and you know you overall just being a good person and you having like morals and you know behaving like a decent you know human being you know in this day and age is considered to be weak you know what i'm saying and i feel like <clears throat> a lot of times you know i can battle with that you know between being trying to be strong in a how to appear strong and not weak-minded, but you also don't want to get ran, run over by people and stuff like that. You know, I struggle with that because it's like, I don't want to come off as a, I don't want to come off as a bitch, but, you know, I still don't want, I'm not going to allow people to take advantage of me. But <clears throat> I noticed that, you know, you know, everybody everybody is different from you and everybody doesn't have the same heart as you you know everybody isn't going to treat you how you treat them and a lot of times that can really change a person because a lot of times if you're dealing with a toxic person or if you're dealing with the wrong person you know their energy can rub off on you you know that's why it's really really it's really really important that you don't be surrounded by people that are toxic and that just have bad energy because you become who you are around and stuff like that and a lot of times i don't want to appear like i'm weak because you know i just choose to not do certain things i choose to not engage in certain activities and it's not because I'm a goody two-shoe. It's just something that I'm just not interested in doing. And, you know, and this all ties into, like, relationships and dating and stuff like that. And I don't know. It seems like, you know, I'm, I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be a bitch. I don't want to be bitchy, but sometimes you have to be a bitch because people will take advantage of you. So, um, but I also feel like, you know, I'm a good hearted person and I tend to treat people with respect, you know, upon first meeting them, you know, and I'm not going to be disrespectful to you until you disrespect me. But I also feel like, you know, a lot of people will try to get you to stoop down to their level to be, you know, to become like them. And, and that's also something that I'm just not going to do. I'm not going to stoop to your level because you just want to argue with me or whatever. And, you know, a lot of people might view that as weak because you choose to you choose to, you know, assert yourself a certain way. You choose to be a certain way or what you would call, like, somebody that would call, like, you know, a classy person. I'm not saying that I'm classy, but, like, if you choose to, you know, be a certain way, you know, it's considered bougie and stuff like that. And I do feel like, you know, women that treat their men good, the ones women that treat their men good are seen as pick me's but you're only considered a pick me when the guy is no good for you and he doesn't benefit you in any type of way and he treats you any type of way and you give in to him anyways that's a pick me but you know if you have a good man you know you're gonna want to be good to him but in a way it's still considered to be week you know what I'm saying and um you know that's why it's important to want to deal with certain men and to not and to not want to deal with you know other other type of men because the type of man that I want to deal with is a man that is respectful towards me and 
he expects his woman to, to be a certain way. So, um, but I know that I have been and I have dealt with men who just didn't appreciate, you know, the good woman, you know. You know, they didn't appreciate, you know, a homemaker or a woman who had traditional values or whatever. So, it's like, you know, should I just, you know, behave this way or whatever? Or should I, you know, act like every other woman is acting? You know, you just don't know what to do. And, um... Because you have this whole thing, like, on social media where, you know, they would say that it's thought culture and all the women are pretty much alike and they don't want to be homemakers. They don't want to be good wives no more and stuff like that. Yeah, and it's like, you know, a lot of them are being followers, but it's also a lot of women that they don't want to be judged by other women because they're considered to be good women. So it's like, you know, let me follow the crowd or whatever, but... You know, I tend to struggle with that, you know, because at the same time, at a certain extent, I do tend to care what people think about me in a way. And, you know, when it comes down to, like, your public Im image and stuff like that, um, you don't want people thinking that, you know, you're not a good person, you know, because otherwise, you know, nobody's nobody's going to want to deal with you. Nobody's going to want to do bu business with you or anything like that, so... You know, you have to protect your public image and how you choose to behave, you know, in the public eye or whatever. But um, it's kind of a struggle, you know, between, you know, just being a good person and, you know, acting recklessly, you know. And I don't want to be a reckless human being. But I have noticed that, you know, I do, I do want to live a certain way and I do want a certain lifestyle and I just feel guilty for wanting that you know what I'm saying I'm like you know why why sabotage you know your success or your health or you know just being happy you know because you want to please other people you don't want to seem like you better than people so you know you choose to be a certain way because for the longest time you know I would put certain things off because I didn't want to come off as a goody two shoe or whatever, but you know, I'm just gonna stop doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna stop doing it because it's my life and I'm the one that has to live it and I'm the one that has to deal with my choices at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? And I wanna look back and be proud of the choices that I made in life. But but um, you know, I'm about to... that's what that's just pretty much it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to you know, get dressed and stuff and head up out of here. But, you know, that's just something that I wanted to talk about. But I will holler at y'all later.